Hi everybody, today I'm going to show you some of my finishes or unfinished finishes or whatever we're calling it these days. So I went way back and found some things that I did in secondary school when I was probably about 12. So we have a lovely little J. I I did this at school and it's really poor, cross-stitching. <laughs> My legs are going all in different directions and there seems to be lumps and fluff coming up from the back. Look, fluffy bits. That's one. And then there was a slight improvement. I really like this one. It's a J, obviously, J for Joanne. But the back is pretty terrible. Look at that. <laughs> then I actually have. The same design but on a bigger on a big count. It's quite nice actually to see how different they come out just by using different count Ada obviously very holy. I have a little heart on six count and well, we had one that I designed myself and it's a candle um, and then I think these two were out of a book have some flowers And watering can with flowers in. I really like this actually. Might do something with it. Make it into a coaster or something. So they were my first little testing beginners ones that I did. The next up I um the next real project I did was this one. It's called Flying Beauties by Sunset Sunset Jiffy the pattern looks like this so it says Sunset Jiffy but at the bottom it says 19.99 dimensions What I was going to say about this is that I haven't looked in here for ages um, and it had this awful looking <laughs> metallic in it. Apparently this is called Opal Ribbon and it is six stranded and I don't know how I ever managed to use it um, because there's more than six strands there. So yeah, I've never seen it since. Do, I mean, if anybody knows what what you would normally use this for, or if they still make it, then please comment. But I'm so glad I don't have to use this ever again. <laughs> Next up I have some Country Companions uh, by DMC, <clears throat> so this was the kit, and here are my finishes, this one is called Mouse and Butterfly, now you probably noticed something wrong with its face, <laughs> I 
I think my mum framed these and there seems to be a bit of blue cotton that's fallen in there which is very aesthetic and then we have Edward flowers Ooh. As you can see up there, I noticed that there was a dirty hoop mark just here. And oh, I thought about taking it out of the frame and washing it and putting it back in the frame. But I don't know. Just to say as well that these weren't framed properly. Not the back of them look like this. Um, they were just framed at home. Probably by my mother. And then I got super confident and did a big one. So it, it was another Country Companions and it was called um, The Water Pump. I'm trying to make it so you can't see my laptop screen on it. Uh, it's got the little mouse and the hedgehog. Okay, tweeding. No, don't like. Ladybird and whatever that thing is. Is it a snail? Bubbles. Yes, again, just thrown in the frame so it looks good enough to me. Um, in case anybody wants to know, this is what the kit looks like. Um, if you see it on your travels. So I did all of those in about 2007 and the last one I did was this, this one which has not been finished yet. Finished finish. It's an unfinished finish. Um, it says keep calm at all times which I think we could all do with being reminded of sometimes so I think I'm going to need to wash it and either frame it or it could actually make a nice little decorative cushion but I actually I didn't finish this one at the time I finished it a few years later I hadn't done the back stitch or you know written keep calm at all times so that one is um I think this is by anchor it uses anchor threads um so yeah um I got back into stitching this year but I I had started um one for my mum's birthday because the pat the design reminded me of my mum. <laughs> it's another country companions one and it's there with its cup of tea and cake which I know who doesn't like tea and cake. But it's quite a big one and I pay I bought it off eBay and because it was just so perfect I paid quite a lot of money for it. I think I paid £16 it's called afternoon tea I don't have the finished show you because obviously my mum has it but I will insert a picture and finally in my last video I was doing the Royal School of Needlework washing line black work sampler and I finished it and I framed it as well um, so here it is I just got this cheap black frame from Tesco for 99p and it's not very central but I'm not I'm not particularly perfectionist um, again I just 
folded the fabric over the back or the, the, the piece of paper that the size frame is um, fold it over, put it back on set them up, it looks a bit neater than the other ones because I've actually, the fabric is in underneath the back and it was uh, it looks better with the white paper behind it um, because I did I did at first just put the back on it without the paper and you could see the brown wood through it so yeah much better with white by the way do you like my light this is oh this is actually my cross stitching light so I'll show you it it's got a magnifying thing and a Got LED lights, I love it. It was actually my mum, my sister bought it for my mum for quilting, but I stole it and it's the best. And I have it on because it's nearly three o'clock in the UK, which means it's dark pretty much like this. This is the joy of the UK an hour. I mean, surely other countries have days as short as ours. Um, it's pretty much gets light at about eight and gets dark at about four. Not that you needed to know that. So anyway. Thank you for all you subscribers and views um, on my first video. Um, you have encouraged me to make this video. Um, and you've said lots of nice things and I still don't know what to do about that cat thing. Yes. So anyway, I'm hoping to do the Know Your Needle Worker tag. Um, So it'll either be that next or a stash video. Anyway, I better go now and do some stitching because well, I've been at work this morning and then came home, had lunch, organised my finishes, filming it now and feels like it's almost the end of the day. <laughs> Thank you for watching, comment, subscribe and have a lovely day.